All right, along with a bunch of classic movies that we were watching, we also watched a new 2023 film called The Portrait. Uh, this is about a woman and her husband who um, are coming to this family house of the husbands. Right? It's a family house? Yes. Anyway, we yeah. watched this like a week like or so ago. His aunt's house or something. Yeah, we really didn't like it. It's just so <laughs> generic and lame. And it felt like at first, maybe. You know what it really was for me? What? Is I genuinely just did not like or connect with the lead yeah. actress yeah. at all. I don't think she's like a terrible actress or anything. No. But there's just something about her character and the way she portrayed it and everything about her was just very off-putting. Mm. The film felt fairly like movie of the week. Like yeah. not it's like I wouldn't say above, but it felt like a lifetime movie that mm. was a little more horror than typical. Yeah. I yeah, I really didn't like it. I was I found myself very bored throughout most of it because I think that there there's a big element in this, the portrait that I think is like underutilized massively. Yeah. And I also feel like they underutilize like, you know, cuz her character is isolated a lot of the time, and I think that there could have been more use of that isolation and like her questioning her reality. And also the viewers and the audience being able to question her reality alongside her. And I just felt like that wasn't in the film as much as it, as it should have been. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I also, I also didn't connect to her character. I think she, I think she did a fine job. Like she wasn't a bad actress at all. I just didn't like her character. And I, I was having a really hard time <laughs> like finding things that I liked in general in the film. She's kind of a lame character anyway. So I don't know if there's much she could have done. Um, as far as the plot synopsis, sorry, we I did get a little off track with that, but they come to this house mm. and her husband has sustained an injury that mm. she blames herself for. And because of this, he's basically like, a like, I don't know. He, he's not comatose. He's like, what would, he just what, is like, not an he invalid. requires like 24 seven support. He can walk around, and it's but he's just weird. non-functioning. I don't understand it, too, because, like, everything with him, he can't do things really by himself, but at the same time, sometimes he kind of acts like he's aware. Yeah. And that's even before, like, weird stuff starts happening. Like, it's even in the beginning, like, there's these moments, and I'm just like, I don't really know what brain injury he had that is leading him to be, like, unable to, like feed himself and stuff or like do things himself but at the same time he can still like sort of react emotionally to her sort of it was weird i yeah. just it was very odd and he can <laughs> I don't walk know. around right it's not like he's in a wheelchair and she's like no he's like walking around with yeah. her and he's like there but he's yeah. not there yeah. which is you know prime for this story and sure. and could work really well yeah. like they had the elements here of that like stranger in the house yes. feel but it's your husband right but is it right right and then the guilt and and is he like faking it because he wants to get revenge or yeah. you know is it supernatural is it not the ambiguity yeah. of that stuff like and a lot of those elements set up but it wasn't executed well for no. any of it no You've also got Zach Morris from Saved by the Bell in here as their, like, groundskeeper. Yeah, he's like... like whatever the hell. Yeah. Um, and his character ended up being Not what way we different than we expected. We were like, what? <laughs> there was a scene with <laughs> okay. him and her that was going one way, and that's what we had called the whole time. And then where it goes, we were like, what? <laughs> okay. okay, which was cool. Because yeah, it fine. was so unexpected, and I was yeah. like, oh, this makes him a much different and more unique and interesting character than just, like, the hired help yeah. that uh, could be a romantic interest on the side that would add to the tension of, like, her guilt. Um, but, yeah, it, it's just kind of a nothing burger. Yeah, it's not a recommendation at all. Yeah, as um, far as the portrait goes, like... The way that's utilized. Yeah, what I was saying in the beginning. 
whatever. There could have been so much more with it. And like, there's a couple things I was like, oh, I like that. Like, you called cool. exactly what was going to happen yeah. with it, too. I know. It was funny the way it ended. She was like, this is what's going to happen. And, and she's called it before I could think of it. And it was but it like been, 100% right. It could have been better. Because, like, yeah, I think that there's a lot of, I mean, it's, it's kind of like mirrors, right? Like, you can do a lot with those. Sure with those tools because they can naturally just be creepy to humans for many reasons. And yeah, this just sort of failed at that for me. If you want a better movie with a like creepy dude in a painting mm. who uh, is, is the antagonist uh, watch Ghostbusters too. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> a much, much better film. Vigo is a, a much better villain. So there you go. Uh, watch Ghostbusters too. <laughs> <laughs>